of capitalism and I address this to the brokers here and the ones that are really exercising over there. You should go over and see it. It's really I ironic as they're jumping up and down on the machines. <laughs> Three principles of capitalism are destroyed by corporate capitalism. One is that if you own something you should control it within reasonable bounds. Shareholders own their corporation. Investors own their corporation. They have no power at all. The bosses have the power. And they tell their owners, if you don't like what we're doing, how we're enriching ourselves, how we're tanking our own companies, how we're unemploying workers in these companies in the hundreds of thousands, sell your stock. That's not good enough. Principle capitalism number two is you're free to fail. If you're a small business, you're free to fail. Nobody bails you out. That's the only thing left of capitalism in this country. Because if you're too big to fail, you go to Washington, D.C. to use government to 
make an unlevel playing field. They should not use government power to give them privileges, to give them resources at bargain basement prices like the natural resources on the public lands. They should not use government to tilt the imbalance of power in terms of tax paying obligations between the powerful corporations and the rest of the companies in this country. That's what I mean when I say they have, they have destroyed principles of capitalism. And how important is this? Here's how important it is. Corporations have only two symbols. They have only two symbols by which they control the American people. One is patriotism, and that's going out the window, as these giant multinationals demonstrate every day that they have no allegiance to our country except to control it or ship its jobs and industries abroad. They have no patriotism in this country. They want to be a national. And the second is market ideology. They're telling you, we're risking our money, and if we make profit, fine, but if we make losses, we have to absorb them. And that is finished now. There are no more symbols that these corporations can use to manipulate the American people. And so they're left with that flag, that flag that they have defiled, that flag that they have desecrated, that flag that represents the last words of the Pledge of Allegiance with liberty and justice for all, not for some, not for a few. Representation. Now, the executives in these buildings like to say that this is a few uh, erratic uh, a rotten apples in the barrel. It wasn't systemic. It wasn't representative of the corporate system. I beg to differ. Watch the breach. Watch the repudiation of financiary, fiduciary obligations to the trillions of dollars owned by millions of Americans who entrusted their money to these corporate crooks, swindlers, and speculators. Watch how each fiduciary institution failed in sequence. First, the corporate board of directors looked the other way and didn't contain the officers of the corporation. Second, the corporate law firms looked the other way, like Cravath Swain and Cahill Gordon and Sullivan and Cromwell. Third, the giant accounting firms looked the other way. Fourth, the rating agencies who are paid to look the other way, look the other way, Standard & Poor and Moody's. Five, the investment banks, before they converted, they look the other way. The state regulatory agencies look the other way. The federal regulatory agencies, including the Securities and Exchange Commission, look the other way. Why did they all look the other way? Because directly and indirectly, they were paid to look the other way. And when Congress comes back, comprehensive federal regulation or re-regulation of the financial services industry. We must have a system where if the taxpayer injects capital, the taxpayer's representatives are on the board of directors and they have ownership participation. We must have expanded criminal prosecution. Criminal prosecution of these corporate of these corporate culprits. Actually, actually, we have a triple reform. We don't send uh, nicotine addicts, by the way, to jail. We don't send alcoholics to jail. We need an amnesty for all nonviolent drug offenders. Empty the cells, prosecute, convict, and throw the corporate crooks in those cells.